Well, welcome back. Um, I want to build on what Alex has been talking about yesterday. Like Alex, if you haven't seen the session yet, you might want to do that afterwards again. Um, he was speaking about synthetics, where you're basically simulating that you are a user and you're going to the site and you do some action and then based on if that works or not, um, it will be shown that yes, this worked or no, this will not work. And the idea of synthetics was like, well, you simulate a common user flow so that you know when a site is broken and not actual users have to suffer through that. Taking a step back or kind of like making it almost simpler, um, there are other general health checks which are not simulating proper users. Um, so we're not like using a headless browser to, to simulate something, um, but we have different kind of pings to our site. So we're using the same site as always. And what I have set up here are the pings for ICMP to just to see like is the host up, TCP to connect to a system that might not have HTTP, for example. So um, we didn't have anything fitting in our session here. But normally, for example, if you have MySQL, um, which doesn't speak HTTP, but you want to still check like is MySQL up or not, you could do a TCP health check since HTTP also uses TCP. I can just use anything that speaks um, HTTP as well. So I'm using my Elasticsearch server here um, to see if that is reachable by TCP. Um, it needs authentication, but with TCP, there is no need for authentication yet. So I can still see that my um, Elasticsearch server here is up. And then I'm using a pinging of localhost. So my heartbeat doing this pinging is running on localhost. I can check my uh, Java application here um, with the actuator health endpoint. And then I'm checking is the domain actually reachable and is something on the domain that I'm expecting there. And before I show you any more results here, let me dive into like what have we configured here just to show you how this is set up. So like I said, we have ICMP here. Um, I'm using the, the cron syntax here. So every five minutes, um, check if my server is up basically. Every five seconds with TCP, check if Elasticsearch is up. And I'm just taking the Elasticsearch um, host here um, without HTTPS in the beginning. So this is kind of like this weird eight thing. I'm removing the first eight characters, which is HTTPS colon slash slash. Then I'm checking on localhost. So where this heartbeat is running, um, is something running on localhost 8080, actuate the health. Um, and I do that every 10 seconds with a timeout of three seconds. And I'm expecting a 200 back. And finally, my check here is checking the domain um, with HTTPS um, every 10 seconds with a three second timeout. Again, expecting a 200 back. And I'm also checking the body that it contains image and my product. So while not as elaborate as Alex checked yesterday, um, you can do some basic sanity check if there is the right thing on that page. Um, you can, by the way, also check headers. Um, you can also check um, JSON responses, for example. So here, this actuate the health endpoint um, contains something about up. You could have included that as well, um, but I kept that one simple and only extended this one a bit. I've also added one more setting here, um, the scheduler. Um, not more than 10 parallel requests are outgoing, um, so not to overload my server with those heartbeat checks. By default, it's unlimited. I have set it to 10 um, concurrent ones. Um, otherwise, the only other thing that is kind of like different to the rest of the configurations that we've seen before is um, there is the observer metadata, where I'm basically saying, where is this running? So since this is running in an AWS data center in EU Central 1 in Frankfurt, um, I have added that. So if I run multiple heartbeats to monitor my, my destin or my servers from multiple endpoints, I see how long does it take from Frankfurt, for example, or whatever other data center I have, um, and or is it failing from one specific region or data center? Um, so to have that. So going back to Kibana here, you can see all of those are up. Um, let me stop th th something. Um, I'll just stop uh, Nginx. Um, and in a moment, we should 
see that this will refresh automatically, though we can uh, manually refresh as well. Um, but while I'm talking, hopefully in a moment or two, um, Nginx is down. You can see one of my first, uh, one of my four checks is down. And what I think the nice thing about this setup is checking for multiple things. So, or at least the group of these three here is that um, I know ICMP is still responding. So I know that the server itself is there. Localhost 8080 is still responding. So I know that the Java app is running, but this one here is so either um, the domain is not configured correctly or Nginx or whatever other load balancer is running is down. Um, but you can kind of like pinpoint by setting this up correctly what approximately is failing. On the other hand, if I had um, killed the Java application, you would see that this one here would be down as well. Or if I reboot the host, you would also see that ICMP is gone. So you have a, an approximate idea what is actually um, up and running. Um, and let me quickly restart this again, because there are monitoring. The first one um, is the monitors that you're seeing here. And ideally, in a couple of seconds or so, um, my domain will come up again. The other one is the TLS certificate. So you know it's very common and also very annoying if your TLS certificates are expired. And this is the second big use case of Heartbeat that it will t detect um, on Nginx, okay, yeah, luckily Nginx came up um, once your TLS certificate is expired. Um, so when you open this one up here, um, it shows you the information of what it found here. It shows you where this ran. Um, so we could, for example, also open the details of this one. It shows you like, how long did it take to for this service to respond? When was it successful or when did it fail? And you can see the individual runs here which is all good. Um, what I'm interested in is this expires in two months here. Um, and this is the second point here, the TLS certificates, um, that for any endpoint with HTTPS that you ping, it can automatically extract the, DNS, uh, the TLS certificate, which was generated 14 days ago because we started this demo 14 days ago. Um, and you can also see um, when it will expire. Um, so right now it's okay, but we could, um, set an alert here and then just say like, hey, I want to have like an alert um, once this certificate expires or is close to expiring like a week before, for example. So for example, here I could say I want to have on my domain, I want to have this status alert. Um, and then it will say like, oh, there is nothing configured here. The configuration of alerts, David will show you probably tomorrow, or we'll see what David will show you. Um, but you could then get an alert like, hey, the minimum age of your TLS certificate is less than five days or whatever you configure here. So Heartbeat, on top of synthetics that Alex has shown you yesterday, can give you the, like, show you that your server is up and running and also which part is up and running. So if you configure it correctly, it's kind of helpful to pinpoint what is actually down. And it helps you stay on top of your TLS certificates because it's always annoying when they expire and everything breaks and then you scramble around just to figure out that you forgot to renew a certificate, which is always a stupid mistake to make. And to annoy having to manually check the dashboards every couple of days yourself, um, we'll go into alerting tomorrow. So stay tuned and see you.